Okay, this is a test to see uh, how the lighting and so forth is for our uh, videos right here in the uh, home office uh, to make sure that we're getting good ones and getting good separation on green screen. Uh, so here we go. Pay attention to the details of uh, really the uh, low uh, cost involved here in doing uh, a video. Uh, first of all, you got a spare bedroom or a spare even a closet. I've seen people, uh, uh, you know, to do that. Uh, it, it can work just as long as you got some fairly decent, uh, uh, you know, silence for your audio. Audio is so critical, and enough space to kind of move around a little bit. Uh, these lights that you see on each side, uh, they're about 25 bucks a piece. You can buy them uh, on Amazon. I'll put the uh, type and so forth in the uh, in the information provided. Uh, the stands are about 17 to 20 bucks a piece if you want to do those. Now the ideal thing is to use four. Uh, two coming in to the face here to light it up. Actually you can use six but uh, at least by four. can get away with two with these two sides. Now I also light up the green screen in the back with two additional lights. Uh, it gives it a little bit more clarity and easier to pull the uh, uh, subject off of the background and or pull the background really away from the subject uh, when you key it in and do a green screen. Uh, now green screen can be either a cloth like you see here that I have a green cloth. You can go to any uh, cl uh, cloth store, uh, Walmart, uh, any place like that and they'll help you find uh, that green screen, that green color that you're looking for. You need to look at that on the internet and you can pull that color exactly uh, what it is, put it behind you, or even go to the paint store. Get you some paint, paint a wall if you want to do it out in the garage, and etc. But it's just so critical to get your sound right on this to make sure that everyone can, uh, can hear you correctly and it makes a big difference in the uh, uh, professional aspect that you're putting forth. Really the camera uh, today's cameras are pretty easy uh, as far as the operation and so forth and they're very common uh, today to be able to shoot HD video and even 4K. Right now I think we're in 1080p uh, uh, HD video which is what I shoot all my uh, video in basically. I do some uh, you know 4K but really not very many people and uh, not many televisions can even play it. So. I think that's it. So here's the basic operation if you want to get into a, a green screen um, and have the separation of colors. Now one thing, uh, don't necessarily wear a black or a white uh, shirt or your client shouldn't. You know, blues are good or a different color, reds are great. Um, something that will contrast uh, against your green. Now you say, well, black does contrast. Yeah, it does, but when you key it in and the green disappears, you'll end up a black background, which is void, and it'll also want to carry over to your, uh, to your shirt, too. So uh, just a little tip to kind of save you some time on that. Okay, and I'm going to adjust the lights just a little bit more to show you what a, a difference uh, some of this makes. In, uh, in the lighting of the subject you see. And these lights can be going, you, know, you can turn them up or down and it's close enough here that I can do that. See if I wanted to get a little bit more intense on that side to lighten it up. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, that's the easy setup for a green screen in your own home or office. Thank you.